Recently, I've released a full-length album called Hidden Worlds Chapter 1. This is what it sounds like. And here's a secret. It was written by my computer, sort of. This video will explain how I'm using procedural generation to make music. So let's go. Here is a little background story of how this project started. I am a musician and a software developer, so the idea of programming music has been in the back of my mind for some time. After releasing a full-length album called Dreamer for my band Yatsui in 2021, I got a little burnt out and couldn't write any new material for a while. That's why I started thinking about music generation again as a means of overcoming burnout. I looked on YouTube to see if anyone was already doing this and that's when I found Dennis Martinson. He made the How I Procedurally Generate Music Explained video just a few months prior. I watched the video and knew that I had to make my own gen generator. And because gen generator is a mouthful, I decided to call the project Generator. So how does it work? Well, it uses procedural generation. No AI or machine learning is involved. That means that the code for every drum hit, every note and every chug is written by a human, me. I have to tell the computer how to write a gent riff, how to write a blast beat and so on. I'll describe this process further in this video, but if you want to go deeper on procedural generation, there should be a link to a video about that in the right corner of the screen right about now, or in the video's description. So this isn't AI, but why not use one? AI is cool. Well, how do you teach the AI what's a good melody, for example? Let's say I'm training an AI model to generate melodies. Whenever a new training melody is generated, the AI needs to know if it's good or bad in order to evolve and improve. The only way I am aware of to rate the melody is to listen to it myself and give the AI feedback manually. And manually rating every generated melody would take a very long time to do. So that's why I decided not to use AI, as cool as it is. How does it work then? The program is broken into lots of different generators. I've written lots of generators for song sections, drum parts, drum fills, riffs and ambient melodies, among other. A generator is a piece of code I've written to generate a very specific thing, such as the linear 16 fill generator, which creates a linear drum fill choosing a random drum, kick, snare or tom, on every 16th note or the random bar drone generator, which creates a melody for the ambient drone guitar by playing a random note from the scale every bar. The program contains lots of these generators and they combine to create a full song. Let's take a look at how the song generation works in practice. Before doing anything else, the program chooses a random key, scale and tempo. For example, the harmonic minor scale in the key of E at 145 BPM. Then it proceeds to generate 8 to 14 sections. The 8 to 14 is just an arbitrary number that happens to result in a song 2 to 3 minutes long. So then, for each section, a random section generator is chosen. The section generator then randomizes a few parameters, such as the section length, intensity or whether it has piano or not. Then it proceeds to generate a rhythmic pattern. The rhythmic pattern is affected by the intensity setting, among other things. The rhythmic pattern is used to generate the drums. A random drum beat generator is chosen, for example the halftime snare generator, 
This drum beat generator plays the kick drum based on the rhythmic pattern, plays a snare on every third beat, and plays a cymbal, crash or china on every beat. At the end of the section, a random drum fill generator is chosen to provide the drum fill. For example, the linear 16th triplet fill generator. When drums are done, it's time for the riff. As always, the program chooses a random generator for that. For example, the root, chugs and dead mutes riff generator. The riff is generated using the rhythmic pattern so that the guitars and bass match with the drum part. The root, chugs and dead mutes generator will play palm muted power chord chugs whenever there's a kick drum happening and play random dead note patterns in between the kicks. After the riff is done, some extra instrumentation might be added on top of it, either a drone synth or a piano, or both. These are generated in the same fashion as the riff, a random generator is selected and used. Finally, the last part in the song generation process is blending the sections together. This process is fairly simple, here's an example. When a quiet part that doesn't have any drums follows a normal part that does have drums, a basic kick and cymbal hit is inserted at the beginning of the quiet part just so the song doesn't seem to stop out of nowhere. That concludes the song generation. All there is left to do is generate a random song name and export the song to MIDI. After the song is exported, I drag the MIDI into my DAW where I have a premix template ready for export. That's it! Now I'd like to talk about a few ways to improve the program. My process of procedural song generation is far from perfect, so I'm constantly thinking of ways to improve it. More cohesion. I'd love for the song to be more cohesive and unique. The songs produced by the current version of the program are kinda cool, but the parts are pretty much interchangeable between songs. The songs don't have a solid identity that would make each song unique and put it apart from the other ones. I'm already working on a major change to the program that addresses this problem, but more on that in the future. Other musical genres. Could it generate other genres of music? In the current state, no. But I'm already working on a new version that will be able to generate gent, ambient piano music and possibly other genres. Add a playback system. Next issue is that there is no playback system. All songs are generated as MIDI and I have to manually drag them into my DAW to even hear them. Before uploading them anywhere, I have to manually bounce the mix from the DAW, which makes it impossible to generate large amounts of songs easily. So I started working on a playback system that would be able to generate a finished audio file automatically, along with the MIDI. I'm basically creating my own sampler that I run the song into and it spits out a finished WAV file. However, it's time consuming. Building a full playback system will require sampling every articulation of every note for the bass, guitar left, guitar right, drone synth and the piano. The drums are easy, they don't take a lot of samples to work. After loading all of these files into my sampler, the resulting song would still be unmixed and unmastered. Another option would be to host the VST instruments in my program and use them to render the song. However, all VST hosting C Sharp libraries I found are very old and I had no luck getting them to work. At this time, I've dropped the playback system idea to maybe work on it in the future. I hope this video was interesting and I'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas. Do you want to know more or did I miss something? Write a comment down below, I'm happy to discuss any part of this project.